Well, ladies and gentlemen, we at Glencane Farm are going to embrace the online world. We are going to launch a an online shop and bring on all our wonderful craft suppliers because in this shop right now, folks, are beautiful handcrafted unique gifts available and they are produced locally, some of which use our very own wool and raw materials from Glen Keane. So I'm going to introduce you to one of our crafters. Let's go and meet Liz Corty. Hi Liz, thank you so much for coming out all the way to Glen Keane Farm. We really appreciate you joining us here today and I wanted to introduce you to our viewers. This is Liz Corty and tell us a little bit about these wonderful crafts on your display. Hi Catherine, um, oh, it's just a pleasure to be out at Glen Keane today. It's such a gorgeous day. And this backdrop here is just wonderful. The countryside in Ireland and particularly in County Mayo, where we're living, um, is so inspirational to all of my work. And because we're on the farm, um, Catherine supplied me some beautiful, beautiful fleece from their sheep. I make these wee brooches. So they're the fleece and oh, they turn into little brooches, something sweet for everybody. Also from the, the sheep's wool, this is locally woven in County Mayo and I make little pan holders and it's filled with lamb's fleece inside too so they're fabulous for using from the kitchen to the table and then another product which is woven locally are these beautiful journals and then covered in this lovely lamb's wool. And when you say woven locally Liz is this uh, from the woolen mills near you? That's right yes yes that's right and um, they have off cuts um, use things like that. Boxed woolen mills, yes. Oh, yeah. And then also these little bookmarks, they're mm -hmm. made from the, the woolen mills too, and um, with a little sheep on, especially for Glen Keane. Thank you, Liz. <laughs> um, also, wool products, again, these are from the fleece. So that's um, a fleece, um, just um, shorn. And then we've got the sheep there, a wee sheep. And this is Holly, sheepdogs up that's on the farm. Oh, and then some of the viewers will know Holly <laughs> from our demonstrations. Holly. And then you get also, um, so this is the spun wool now, made into wool for making um, jumpers and cardigans and things. And then we also have Liz. And then the textiles, woven into textiles. So the three different products from wool, and there's Jill, another wow. one of the beautiful sheepdogs here. This is three little bottles, and we have the Heather, the bog cotton and the turf and the turf is still used in many of the fires in Ireland and the smell is just heavenly. Now another thing that I do, um, my partner he loves the fishing and it's on the famous River Moy in Foxwood and it's the wild Atlantic salmon that come up. So after he's caught it and he smoked it and we've eaten it, I use the skins and I, I use it into, make it into salmon leather so it's all cured. So we make these pendants and the colours here are from um, the smoked, that's why it's all golden colour. And you can see the salmon scales there. And I make um, pendants, cufflinks, and this is a little tie pin as well, or you can use it for your hat. And there's something, something unique, I haven't seen those made anywhere else in Ireland. So I went to college and studied fine art because um, that was part of my healing process. I'd been sick a few years ago. I gave up my job and went back to college and studied fine art. So that's what brought me back into um, art. And um, you just lose yourself when you're making things. It's wonderful. Um, so I started off with ceramics. I've always done photography. So from the jewellery that I made in ceramics, I've, I make with crystals now. So these are Swarovski crystals, which are some of the best crystals you can buy um, with sterling silver veils and the beautiful Celtic patterns. So they come in different shapes and colours. Um, and there's another little one here that's, that's a pretty colour with a Cerise um, Swarovski crystals. And then um, I hand paint pendants too. So this is like a 3D effect and it's quite like a, a butterfly effect really. Um, and they come out, you don't know how they're going to come out really, but different layers of paint give different, um, different overall finishes. Um, and then of course that... Being, I'm, I'm a Celtic person as well, I'm, I'm from the Isle of Man and um, my mum was originally from Ireland and now I'm, I'm back home. Um, so I love working with the Celtic patterns. Uh, we have the most wonderful sunsets here in Ireland on the west coast. So this is my um, pendants with the, the sunset. And then of course, 
we all know of the Wild Atlantic Way, and these are based on the beaches and the golden sands, um, and it's just so lovely. We have fabulous beaches around the coast of Ireland. So those are my two main products with the, the Celtic patterns. And because we're in Glenkeen Farm, I do little hand-painted ones again with the sheep. So I don't know if the sheep is still behind me here in, the, in this beautiful, beautiful landscape. Um, they're, they're right there, <laughs> And they're not there, <laughs> bar barring. Um, one more sheep product um, I make are these beautiful felted earrings. And they've got little crystals on too. So pretty. And they can come in all different colours. These will all be found in the shop. And back to fishing again. These are little fishy earrings. Adorable. They're cute. And then the, the one, the, the fish on the line there as well. So I do a range of range of earrings. I like to sort of concentrate on the blues and greens of Ireland because beautiful blue skies, blue locks and lakes, and then the emerald green, all these lush fields that we got. That yeah. is absolutely fantastic, Liz. <laughs> and how lucky are we? You have been our craft supplier here for many years since we since opening, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm absolutely delighted that you're coming on this journey to the virtual world with Glenkeen Farm. Not sure where it's going to take us, Liz, but I'm sure your products are going to be enjoyed all over the world. Thank you so much for coming out today and displaying your beautiful arts and crafts. Oh, Thank pleasure. You, Liz. Thank you very much. <laughs> and in addition to Liz Corti's beautiful crafts, we have many other craft suppliers, which you can check out at glenkeenfarm.com. Thank you so much for joining us this week. And until next week, stay safe. Bye for now. Thank you.